Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, we're going to talk about dual rates and why we put them in the inputs and not the mixer. One of the big questions I get on a regular basis is why can't I set my dual rates up in the mixer? And the answer is you can. I'm going to prove it to you. For the demo today, I'm going to show you a basic mix setup for a wing. So we're just going to be looking at aileron and elevator. I don't have throttle and I don't have rudder. Next thing I'm going to do is bring up the monitor screen. And on the monitor screen, when I move my aileron over to the right, you can see that we get about 50% movement on this aileron and the elevator goes the other way. That's a traditional wing setup. So you can imagine if we have a wing with just the two surfaces, you have both the elevons going like this, right? Opposite directions. So that's what we see here. Aileron going one direction here, elevator going the other direction over here. Now what I'm going to do is use my SA switch and I'm going to cut that rate in half or that travel in half. So you can see instead of being 50, we're now about 25, 24. So that's using dual rates, right? We've cut our travel down in half. I'm going to bring that switch back up and I'm going to show you that I also have the same function set up on the SB switch, but I'm using the mixer. So right now we're starting at 50 and I'm going to bring the SB switch down and you can see we've now cut our travel down in half. So the answer to the question of whether or not you can set up dual rates in the mixer is yes, you can. Now I'm gonna show you why you shouldn't do it. This is a very traditional dual rate setup on Edge TX and it's responsible when I go into the monitor for bringing my travel down by about half when I move the SA switch. Now that same exact function can be replicated in the mixer and here's what it looks like and this should be pretty self-explanatory as to why we don't do it. The way controls work on Edge TX, we start out with the stick. We start out with a stick and once we move that stick, the stick feeds the input. That input is right here. The input then feeds the mixer and the mixer feeds the output. It's a very logical arrangement or flow of information through the radio. So we start out in the input screen here and then we, as we move the stick, we feed data into the mixer. So you can see all I've done in the mixer is I've started with a value of 50 and 50 for the elevator and aileron. That's the high rate and I'm using the SB switch to control that rate. So if I bring up the channel monitor again and I move the aileron, you can see we've got that full 50% travel and I can use the SB switch to reduce that travel in half. When we go back to the mixer, you can see that now that I've taken the SB switch out of the top position, we're now using a mix that has 25% for the values instead. And then we do the same thing on the elevator. So right off the bat, let's just count the lines. In order to implement this configuration, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different lines. So now if I want to change my rate, if I want to change the low rate, for example, I don't want 25 and I want it to be say 20 instead, I have to go into all of these lines and make the appropriate changes. We have to edit the aileron and change this down to 20, say 20, for example, if we wanted to use 20, then we have to go into this one and change it down to 20. Whoops. Yeah, and you're gonna get a lot of that too. Which direction do you go, right? <laughs> that happens. So we change that one to 20 and then we have to go into this one. Now for a wing, you can kind of mathematically figure it out. But the real answer here is that we are basically doing double the amount of work and we have to make sure everything is synced up and in the same direction. Contrast that with using dual rates on the input screen. All we have to do is go into the single value we want to change for aileron and lower that from say 50 to 40 and we're done. Everything is applied equally in the mixer. And that's why we set up dual rates in the inputs instead of the mixer. This configuration is much simpler and anywhere that I use this input in my mixer, these rules apply. I don't have to go through my entire mix configuration finding these little AIL marks and then editing those based on the switch position and the rate that I want to establish. And in a complex configuration, if you're flying something a little more challenging like a 3D plane and you've got some elevator to rudder mixing for say knife edge or you've got some aileron and flat mixing or spoiler on mixing or elevator and spoiler on mixing, that could get really challenging really fast if you want to move from high rates to low rates. It's much simpler, much more convenient, and a much better practice to establish your high and low rates on your input screen. I hope that cleared things up for you on why we set up dual rates in the input screen instead of the mixer on Edge TX. If you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.